Listen, y'all, just when you thought Drake had enough problems on his hands, well, moments ago, Rick Ross reacts to reports of his jet making an emergency crash landing in Dallas. That's right, y'all. According to these reports that circulated on social media about an hour ago, it's being said that Rick Ross had to make an emergency crash landing in Dallas. And moments ago, Rick Ross responded to these reports saying that Drake fighter jet shot us down. Yes, you are reading this correctly. Rick Ross is blaming Drake for the reason as to why he had to make an emergency crash landing in Dallas. This is uh, <laughs> this has been one hell of a day, man. First, you wake up to, you know, Kendrick dropping another, uh, you know, diss. Now you got Rick Ross blaming you for sh shooting down his jet. I mean, this this is wild. OK, so I'm going to say my man snitched on Drake again. Uh, for those wondering, when these reports came out, Drake liked the post. OK, so, of course, you know, Rick Ross, he's shooting back at Drake. But like I said, this is interesting. Don't let 50 see this post because you already know he's going to respond, uh, you know, with the office of Ricky. You know what I mean? The memes. But here, here's some of the pictures, man, from this emergency crash landing in Dallas. Again, is this confirmed or not? I haven't seen any confirmed reports. You know, everyone's saying allegedly, but Rick Ross already blaming Drake for the reason as to why his jet had to make an emergency crash landing. Now, remember, just last week, Rick Ross was clowning, you know, Drake's jet, his Wi-Fi. So you see how things work, man? You see how things happen that quickly. Uh, but again, this is, you know, remember earlier today, Kendrick came out with his diss going at Drake again, second, you know, second this. I mean, this has been one hell of a day for Drake, and already it's, it's being rumored that Drake will be responding real soon, okay? I mean, 50 even said earlier today Drake has one in the chamber, but again, uh, I'd rather hear it, right, than hear people talking about it. I see Drake, he made a post on IG earlier today, you know what I mean, seemingly responding to the 616 uh, what, 616 in L.A.? I mean, like I said, man, this is what everyone has been, uh, you know, asking for in hip-hop. You know what I mean? This competitiveness, aside from these stories with Rick Ross and the Jet, I mean, this is this is getting crazy. Imagine if Drake actually has something to do with this. Like I said, this is, this is uh, completely left field. Uh, you know, I didn't even know anything about this. And even Rick Ross responding, automatically pointing fingers at Drake, Ross, they gonna tear your ass up on social media. You know that, right? Come on now. This is this is getting out of hand. But again, y'all, let me know, man. What are your thoughts on Rick Ross blaming Drake for the reason why he had to make an emergency? Allegedly, had to make an emergency crash landing with his jet in Dallas. Do you think there's some truth to these reports, or do you think you know Rick Ross is just? trolling like everyone else is on social media i'm pretty sure dj academics he's gonna you know what i mean shed some light on this but again this has been one hell of a day for drake and his fans and everyone is uh waiting for drake to respond not to these uh you know jet allegations but more so this 616 in la man it's it's getting real hot out here for the OVO fans. And again, people are waiting. I don't know if Ross will be dropping another champagne moments. At this point, you know, anyone else jumping in the ring, it's, your services are really no longer needed. Right now, we just really waiting for Drake and Kendrick. This is all we asking for right now. And we're just going to have to wait and see who, uh, who comes out victorious. Aside from that, y'all let me know. What are your thoughts on Rick Ross? Blaming Drake for his emergency crash landing down in the section below. But my name is Rip. That's all I got for y'all today. Till next time. Peace. Hey guys, shop with my boy Chick Smooth at chicksmooth.shop. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace. You now tuned in to MREC TV. Someone wasn't on protocol. There are consequences. <laughs> <laughs>
knockout kings of comedy. This your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Troncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. No, I know me old. You fuck with lambskin condoms. <laughs> from LDs. The f*** wrong with you? LDs, you should eat this. We don't know what the f*** that meat is. No! For real, I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the f*** the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my s***. It ain't no point of both of us get I step up, look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. Pop, 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 pop. $20, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no, sir. First of all, can I ask y'all a personal question? Is this microphone really necessary? At this Punchline, punchline, punchline. Get out of the car. Give me a second.